Okay, so my initial videos uh, that kind of blew up on YouTube were open tuning videos. And I, it's funny because I, I don't do a lot of playing in open tuning. I sometimes will write fingerstyle guitar parts, acoustic things, with open tuning. I'll do drop D a lot, like on, on uh, uh, records and things like that, uh, on electric. Um, but I don't spend, I don't have my guitars generally tuned to open tunings because I'm picking them up and doing reading and, and when you're reading music and you have a guitar and open tuning, it makes it a lot more complex. I can do it. Um, I read on all other instruments and I leave them tuned the way they're supposed to be tuned, like mandolin and, and banjo and things like that. Uh, but for some reason, you know, when I have a, a guitar tuned in open D or dad gad or something like that, <laughs> my brain just won't work. I can't, I can't really read. Now, I've been, so I've been neglecting the open tuning uh, uh, fans um, for a while and I haven't done a video on that and I've been getting a lot of requests from um, subscribers asking me to do something about open C and to be honest I you know I was just thinking like when I think of open C I think of like drop C you drop it down to C maybe drop the A string or you drop the E string down to C and maybe drop the A string down to G um, but that's only half of this. That's only a, a half of the change in what is commonly referred to as open C tuning. So again, just as a review, the standard um, tuning is eat at Denny's get bad eggs. Sorry, Denny's eat at diners get bad eggs. Um, and I'm just going to make sure it's in tune here because. But I'm going to totally change it now. Um, I've never played in open C, so this is me experimenting. In open C. So if you're looking for an expert video on open C, this isn't it. <laughs> but uh, my brain works in a certain way that kind of deciphers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as I'm messing around with this, I'm going to explain what I'm doing and then uh, we'll both learn something at the same time. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to tune the E. So open C is C, G, C, G, C, E. Okay. So um, we're going to lower three of the strings and raise one of the strings. So I'm going to lower the E string down to C. That's B. Now pitch is going to be an issue. So if I were to keep a guitar tuned this way or tune it a lot, I might use heavier strings. Because this is going to be a little flabby. It's going to go sharp if I hit it too hard, okay? Tuning the A string down to G. That'll be less of an issue because we're only going down a whole step instead of two whole steps. See, it's already going sharp. There, there's C, G, D. Okay, now I'm going to take the D down to. Now, right there, I've got like. I've got a, a two chord, a root, a fifth, and a second or a ninth, if you want to call it. Like that would be C, G, D. And this would be F, uh, F, C, G. And I can get right to the third if I do. Okay, but that's all going to go away now that I'm going to tune this D string down to C. So I, now I know what the appeal to this is. It's just, it's just a rich sounding, rich sounding tuning because it's so low. Okay, now I'm, I'm almost there. Okay, so we got G, or I'm sorry, C, G, C, G. Because the G string stays the same. We take this B string up. I'm salivating. I'm salivating at the thought of open C tuning here. Okay, taking the B string up to C. Shouldn't be an issue, it's only a half step. So we got C, G, C, G, C. Okay, computer graphics, computer graphics, computer. So now we have, and the third is on top, so it's root, fifth, root, fifth, root. It's very important to know because you, you got a lot of things you can do right there. And anything that works on the C chord or C string, or the sixth string, which is C, will work on the fourth string, which is C, will work on the second string, which is C. So that's kind of cool. You got two G strings, so you got a lot of redundancy in this in this tuning. So there it is there. Right away I got sus. Now the string that's going to mess me up, I'm pretty sure, is going to be the second string because I'm not used to tuning that one up. 
uh, or even at any anytime you move anything a half step, it's really going to throw you off. Whole step, sometimes you can figure that out pretty quick. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go to is I'm going to find the four and the five uh, because most songs have a one, a four, and a five in it. Those are your three main chords, and then of course the sixth chord would be the next one. But let's find the four chord. Well, that's just at the fifth fret. So that would be an F chord. And there's your G chord. And there's your sus. Now, F sus, the, the, is a, that's a B flat. And that's one thing I can use, is I can use this string to kind of find where I'm at because it's not changed, the E string. But what you're going to have to do is the root's going to be on the bottom string. So you're going to need to relearn that string. You know, you've got everything E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. That's not the case anymore. So it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If it were in tune. So I could do that with all the other strings ringing out. Now keep in mind, like I said before, there's three strings tuned to C, so I can do that on all three of the strings, on any of those. I right? So I've got the, the um, basically I've got a major scale that I'm playing, just one, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one again. Um, now again, I can do that on the second string. Oh boy, that's gonna really require me to relearn. But if you play by ear, it's not gonna be much of an issue, but if you're playing, you're trying to think, okay, here's a, okay, I go to the F note, to the G, it's like, it doesn't, it's totally wrong. <laughs> okay, now, that said, I can do any combination of those three strings going up and down the neck. So. You can always, the harmonics are always cool. This is going to be the five at the seventh fret. And I'm a little out of tune. I'm going to check my tuning real quick. Again, my guitar is just kind of getting used to the idea. And it's going to be mainly that bottom string that's going to be out of tune. Yeah, it's not bad. Considering I was just playing, it was a little flat. Okay, so I can take like just the bottom three strings and play at the fifth fret and create kind of a pseudo five chord. I mean, sorry, four chord. So there's our F chord with a C chord on top, like an F power chord. So you can see the, here's the, here's the sixth chord. Now again, uh, the sixth chord, in this case it would be A major. We don't want A major, we want A minor. So, and the only, the only third is here. So we, if we were to lower it, you know, to try to figure out how to get that because that's that C sharp we want to see natural in it so we want to try and you can't you don't have enough fingers to get this note and five other fretted notes so basically what I would just do is ignore I would do that so what I'm doing is I'm just barring the or not barring I'm playing the bottom three strings at the fifth fret you kind of C with an F power chord in the bottom C with a G power chord in the bottom and an A minor an A, you know, an A5 chord, which a five chord again doesn't have a third in it, just roots and fifths. So that could be that. The two chords here, and the three chords. Here. The three chords a little weird because we're gonna have, uh, let's see, E, B, uh, E, G, C, E. That's gonna be a little muddy. But the four, uh, the six chord sounds great. See what I did there was I took that fourth string note down a half step because here's a, a C G C and then there's B that's the major seventh always a pretty note and then the the F chord the four chord in any key is also going to have a major seventh 
you wouldn't want to do it on the G chord because it's uh, it would be a G uh, an F natural, which would be a G seven. So I like that. If I can keep that lower string in tune. I think to have a light touch is real important, um, especially on the bottom three strings, because they're all looser. So I gotta, I gotta play a little lighter, I think. Seventh is uh, down here, or two frets down below the pinky on the fourth string. So, so this it already is an A minor seventh because I got a G in there. So that's redundant. I like having keeping the A. In. Now you could just do like dead in the A string, and I could just do like the, the uh, sixth string and the fourth string. See, I'm sharp because I'm hitting too hard. Again, with heavier strings, it would be easier to play in tune. Okay, now let's look at the. So we have two more strings that are tuned exactly the same. So the G, and again, I'm just learning this as I go. Okay, so we're learning together here. Uh, so if you were hoping to have an expert on open C tuning, you ain't got one. Uh, so I got two Gs though, and so G, in the, and we're in the key of C. And anything I play is probably going to be C-centric. If I wanted to play a C minor chord, I'm going to have to... Oh, no. It's going to be that. See, that was C major again. Because I see that the second string is throwing me off. Uh, so here's an E flat. Well, you can't play the top string at the same time. Because uh, you don't want that minor third with the major third at the same time. Okay. But if we, if we just put our pinky down and get that G note... Play C minor, so that's not necessarily a problem. And that would be E flat, G. I'm sorry, F, E flat, to C minor. So there I'm just doing basically, I'm playing top two strings, and this is the E flat, remember, so then B, uh, D is going to sound really nice in a C. Uh, in a, uh, the C minor chord. And then going to the C. So here we have C, G, C, G, C, G. All C's and G's. Now I could also maybe get that with my second finger, the G note, and go major. Top string. I don't even need to put put the uh, G there if I don't want to. I could let everything else ring out. Try not to. So I go to the A minor. I'm going to want to go to open string. sharp there. Yeah, it's definitely a heavier string is going to be required to do this tuning. I'm using Elixir uh, lights on here. So I think the bottom is, uh, what is the bottom on Elixir lights? It's uh, 52. Top is 11? 12? 12. Yeah, I think it's a 12. I'm going to correct it in the, <laughs> I'll put a correct uh, list of string gauges below. but. So this is really cool. I'm digging open C. Now, so the request was for chords in open C. So I'm going to have to sit through and kind of, I'll do like a, a video where I go through a bunch of chords and find a bunch of, uh, you know, and then put the shapes in there. I may even upload a PDF that you can download from my Dropbox for free. Um, yeah, this is, just checking my tune. This is pretty cool though. I'm digging it. I'm digging this tuning. I have to admit, I've never played in it before. Um, 
Um, and so I was going to talk about the, the, the G strings. So we go G, A, B, C, D, E, F is here, 10th fret, G. Now, we could go to F sharp, that would make it uh, C Lydian. Anything I do on this fifth string, I can do on the third string because they're both G's. You want to go to Lydia? Now, the other thing is I can do is I don't play the bottom string, and then I can think of this as kind of like, almost like an open C with a G bass. But, C chord, then I can save that low E or low C string for like the, a dramatic moment. So if I was doing like a finger style thing. secrets about making music is is creating drama and creating dynamics and creating change and, and movement and all that stuff is <laughs> all, all the secret of making music and uh, but save stuff don't like go full bore right off the right out of the gate you know like save stuff and build something and that's what you want to It's gonna sound good. Um, it's just my brain is not thinking. But anyway, slide could be really cool on this too. Not the best guitar for that. My action's a little low right now. third and major third against each other. When I'm putting that seventh in there, the B flat, and that actually makes it more sellable, I think. It makes it more like an E, like a C7 sharp nine kind of vibe. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna leave this guitar tuned like this for a couple days, but uh, hopefully it won't jack anything up. I'm pretty sure we're okay. Um, it's not the strings aren't crazy. Uh, they're a little light, but heavier strings would be better. Anyway. That was fun. I hope you had fun. Um, we're going to, I'll, I'll probably do, uh, in the future, um, I'll try to do a chords in the open C tuning, okay? All right, take care. God bless you guys.